Hello everybody, welcome back for another video. Hope you are doing well and having a great day. Something very, very interesting is going on. So tomorrow, I believe today is the 5th. Yep, today is the 5th. Tomorrow, there is something very interesting that is going to be happening in America. Tomorrow, there is a meeting of the U.S. Senate Banking Committee on regulation of cryptocurrencies within the United States. I was trying to figure out why there was such a commotion. There's also something else that has happened at the exact same time. So this is pretty much one for the uh, conspiracy theorists out there. Uh, someone who spoke at CNBC said next week, uh, which is you know t tomorrow actually, we've got a big event here in the US. We've talked a lot about the regulatory pressures that have come from South Korea and China and other places, but we've got something coming up in the US that I think could be a big event for us. So on February 6th, the Senate Banking Committee are having a meeting and they're going to talk about what the regulatory oversight role of the SEC and the CFTC should be when it comes to cryptocurrencies and virtual currencies. The SEC, uh, the, the Securities and Exchange Commission, is an independent agency of the U.S. government which regulates the securities industry and stock and option exchanges. Long story short, uh... What we've seen in cryptocurrencies, I've said this before, I don't know how many of you are, have been here for that long. What we have in the cryptocurrency market, especially around since last November, maybe October, are people who've been in it for a very, very long time, who've been in it for about two or three years and have seen the price explosions and up and down, et cetera, et cetera. And then the last couple, two or three months is when we had a lot of the new people who have come into cryptocurrencies. What we still have not seen are the mega rich we've seen some rich people who have uh dipped their toes into it we've seen some rich people who have spoken about you know uh how cool it is etc cetera, etc cetera. but we had there's a, a large number of people who have refused to get into cryptocurrencies simply because it is not regulated and this is very very important going forward because these people need and i say need as like an actual thing they need to know what happens when they make money? Who do they pay? How much are they going to be taxed? And they want to know the exact rules. So the fact that this is happening tomorrow and that we had a lot of drama from South Korea and China right before this, it kind of plugs everything together. I think everyone is trying to do their regulatory uh, do, if you will, when it comes to all of this before America has a chance to say something. Because typically, typically what happens is when America says something, especially according to finance, the rest of the world tends to follow. So this is going to be very interesting to see what happens. Obviously, there is, as far as I can say, 98% sure there's no cause or concern for the fear of a ban because America is pretty friendly when it comes to making money. I believe this could be the point where we finally see exactly how much people have to pay in taxes, what like what taxes and exactly what cryptocurrencies will be within the country. Um, I will obviously cover this tomorrow as it happens as well. But this is going to be very, very interesting to see exactly what happens. And even on that exact same note, the uh, for those who have been paying attention, the White House says it's concerned because the Dow Jones has been falling, the S&P 500 and Everything is pretty much tanking after shedding a massive 666 points. Very interesting number. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is down another 214 points or about 0.8% in early trading today. This may not seem like a lot before a very stable market. That is a cause for concern for a lot of people. White House confirmed it is uh, worried about a stock market drop. The, a large part of this has been that not to get political at all because this is not a political channel. A lot of people believe that he, this person right here, the president of the United States, has been riding the wave of the last president. And this wave is slowly coming down because a lot of people aren't concerned with how he has handled many situations, especially financially. Uh, the fact that this is coinciding with the drop of our own markets is very interesting because for a very long time, there was a lot of speculation because we've been... People have been talking about a potential stock market crash in the traditional markets for at least four or five years now. It has to be said. This is during the rise of cryptocurrencies. A lot of people have said that when cryptocurrencies, uh, more so when the stock market falls down, this is when cryptocurrencies will really pump up because they expected this money to kind of flow into our market. But it's the exact opposite that's happening right now. But it's also coinciding with both of the markets dipping at the exact same time. So what will happen tomorrow 
once we have proper clarification from the SEC as to what cryptocurrencies are and exactly what they are in the United States, will this then boost up cryptocurrencies and will we see more money flow from the traditional markets? It's all very, it's, the fact that it's all happening at the exact same time is also very interesting. Like I said before, I think a lot of this is coordinated. Obviously, now it seems more so uh, like this is actually the way that it is. Because everything is happening too close behind each other. If things were about a month or two apart, it wouldn't seem that way. But, but the fact that everything is happening so close, not to ramble on, but you guys are kind of get what I'm saying. Next up, <laughs> uh, the uh, state of Texas has once again hit another uh, lending platform with a cease and desist order. The last one was BitConnect. And this one is Devor Coin. This is what we spoke about when BitConnect got shut down. There were a number of YouTubers who were in the previous class action lawsuit that was with BitConnect. Uh, they started pumping this coin as well, but I think it took only a couple days for Texas to kind of get it together and say, hey, this is the exact same thing because uh, pretty much it said um, right here, if you invested 30000 in Devor coin, who elected a lockup period of 120 days, meaning every uh, you may earn $513 per day, which is 5,391 per seven days, 15,390 per 30 days, and 107,000 after the capital release of the amount of 120 days. So the main idea is, is that anytime someone guarantees you a certain amount of money, it is probably a scam as we no one can ever predict any market properly. No one knows where any market is going to go, especially if it's a lending platform and they're using your money to play the markets. They no one as as we've seen the last month, no one can know what is going to happen. So it's really interesting that they caught this one very, very quick, especially the other YouTubers who were still making videos after the Big Connect thing, trying to pump up Devor coin. They have once again been stopped in their tracks before. I think an, an, another state will probably do the exact same thing as before. Last up in very odd news, um, New York is uh, trying to apparently get their own state-backed cryptocurrency. Uh, this was proposed by an assemblyman for the state. For Long story short, for those who do not know, it is uh, kind of not possible for this to happen. The bill would require the government to explore the steps necessary to issue its own cryptocurrency, which uh, would likely raise constitutional as well as logistical questions because the Constitution restricts states from coining money or making anything but gold and silver coin a legal tender in payment of debts. There was something similar to this, I believe, in London in a part of the city called Brixton, where they made their own cryptocurrency. <laughs> cryptocurrency, wow. So used to saying that word where they made their own currency that was for the district. So I think this is kind of what they were trying to do. But this can't happen because logistically, when you try to exit New York, your money is then null and void. And what happens if you have been accumulating money in this state the entire time? Just a lot of really weird stuff going on. I think everyone or rather too many places and companies are on the uh, cryptocurrency bandwagon. But let's see exactly how this is going to go. I think they have a year if this actually works out or rather not the actual, you know, process of the making it. If this actually goes through, I think they have a year to kind of submit a uh, a report about their findings for this. Very <laughs> we we live in a very weird world. I'm so sorry, but we do. This is this is all completely crazy to me. This nothing was like this 5 years ago. Reality has completely shifted from where it was. <laughs> All righty guys. That is definitely going to do it for this video. As always, I hope you guys are having a great day despite everything being in the red on both sides, on both markets. But yeah, hopefully tomorrow brings some good news once we pro finally have clarification on exactly what this is in America. Alrighty, guys. Yeah, I will talk to you all soon. See you.